So I think it's been like a couple weeks since I uploaded. Literally, I got back from New York and started my job the next day. In the last two weeks, it's been full throttle. I don't even think I told you what I'm doing. I just said I got a job at CFNI. I am their videographer. How awesome is that? The last couple weeks, literally dream job. There's so much I wanna tell you. There's so many videos I wanna make, but right now, everything I have is in this job. Getting better, making videos, learning, and it's been, it's been phenomenal. So right now, I'm making a video for CFNI. I'm waiting for this guy to come to shoot him, and I'm taking a little time lapse right now. So I just wrapped up the shoot with my buddy Brandon. I usually wear a nice shirt and have gel in my hair, but I spilled pre-workout all over my V-neck shirt, so that's why I'm wearing this shenanigans. So today is day two of me trying to film this video. There's been so much that's happened to me in the last two weeks where it's really just been non-stop. I'm filming another time lapse for my job. So I just want to say this story real quick. Literally, ever since I've gotten this job, it's been super amazing. But like all of this stuff has happened to me. I got sick, Shelly got sick, baby got sick, car problems. So literally a couple days ago, I am driving to work and out of nowhere, the lights flash, the car dies on the access road off the highway. So I get out of the car, I push it to the shoulder, I call the tow truck. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, man, the tow truck driver comes. And man, I kind of just break down in front of this tow truck driver. I'm like, dude, all these things are happening to me, man. And I cannot even explain to you the conversation that me and this guy had sitting in his car, waiting for me to make the decision on where to tow my car. He's like, man, you gotta go after Jesus, man. That MF and devil is a lie. He was saying the F word a lot. But man, he was talking to me about Jesus and it was just so insane. I was crying. He's like, the devil's a mother effing liar. But let me tell you something, man. God loves you. And I'm sitting there just like, I don't even care that he's cursing, but just his emotion and just the, the things that he was beginning to tell me. He's like, man, my, my daughter's in, in the mental institution. My, my son married a crackhead. But you know what? I know God has my back and I'm gonna keep pushing forward. And I, it, was, it was the most amazing thing. We were sitting in this guy's truck and he was preaching the gospel to me using colorful language, whatever. And he's like, you know what, man? Let me check your car. I'm not supposed to do this. So he gets out and he checks my car and the car starts magically. He's like, man, I know I ain't supposed to tell you this, but I don't think there's anything wrong with your car, man. He's like, let me tell you, we'll just drive your car and get your oil changed and we'll let it run a little bit, but I think there's nothing wrong. So he drove me to get my oil changed and we talked about Jesus and we prayed for one another. We all have different agreements and disagreements and we all have different walks of life, but that guy's passion for Jesus was just as passionate as I am. He might have used the F word a million times, but that was just where he was at right now. If you believe in Jesus, let's just go for that. Let's don't get caught up on different sin patterns or different beliefs or different walks. Let's just go for Jesus and pick each other up and run the race together, man. Anyways, check out this view where I'm at. 